Yo, what's up everyone? Zunora here coming at you with another video. I hope you guys can hear me well. There might be a little bit of background noise because of some vents. It is super, super hot in California. It's like 110 degrees or like 40 degrees Celsius. So I'm literally dying this. My computer is literally absorbing all the oxygen. So I'm just going to record this, put it on the YouTube and turn everything off because I'm literally dying. So... There's going to be two videos. There's going to be one for NLCS uh, that I prepared here in the sheet of paper. We're going to do some prediction about NALCS for the third place and the first place. And then I'm going to do the same thing for EULCS. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my time because I haven't really watched EULCS because of the time difference and just because of my interest in EU teams. I'm going to do a little bit of research and make another videos to give you some predictions and what to expect from some players, etc., etc. So let's start with the NALCS guys. First of all, I'm going to give you my opinion, like my take, my own prediction. Feel free, feel free to share yours in the comment down below. Let me know who's going to win, who's going to take first place, who's going to take third place. Uh, it should be a very interesting weekend um, and I cannot wait to see it. So let's talk about the third place for the NALCS first, which is going to be Team Dignitas against CLG. Sorry, like the paper is moving because of the fans. I'm just going to hold it like that. So Team Dignitas is going to put down into uh, CLG in a best of five for the third place of NALCS. Team Dignitas has gone 11 and 7 in regular season, and CLG won 12 and 6 in regular season, putting CLG in a better spot at the end of the regular season. But that really doesn't change a lot as far as this is concerned. The only thing I want to say is that for what we saw during the playoff is that Team Dignitas looks super good. Like, looks super good in uh, against uh, Cloud9 in a best of five where uh, Team Dignitas won 3-1. They look really good. They look really impressive and they look so much better than the start of the season. So I have a lot of expectation from them. Some of you guys know that I actually like CLG a lot, like I have I have some merch from them, I really do like the organization, but I kind of want to still give it to them, because even though they won against Team Envious during the playoff, I don't think it was an impressive, impressive uh, performance. I was looking forward to Omar God performing, which he did, but I didn't feel it was like a challenge worth talking about, since Team MGS has a lot of things to, uh, like they're struggling with, and they have a lot of things to work on. So, I don't think it's as impressive as Team Dignitas winning against Cloud9. At least, that's what I think. So, what I did is that I put it all the matchup, and we're going to talk about all the matchup from top to bottom, and see where uh, some teams might win, and then I'm going to give you my prediction as far as the best of uh, 5 is concerned. So, in the top lane, guys, we're going to have Sunday, so the Korean player, uh, ex-KT roster, uh, top laner against Darshan and for this matchup guys I'm gonna give it to Darshan. I think Darshan is an amazing super talented uh, top laner that has this like aggressive life, um, lifestyle play style gameplay whatever that I actually really admire and like uh, he has a very nice pool of champion just like Sunday but I just feel like Darshan is just more comfortable and he takes more risks and usually it really pays off and synergizes very well with the mood of the team the next matchup, guys, in the jungle is going to be Shrimp against Omar God. So, I'm a fan of Omar God. I think his story is amazing. I really think that what he's he did and uh, where he comes from is super interesting. And I really want to root for him as a CLG, like, I, I don't adore, I want to say. I'm not, like, a fan. I just like CLG for what they are. And because they're really, like, OG organization, I really like that. Uh... Team Dignitas as well, I guess, but okay, whatever. I have to give this matchup to Shrimp, just because Shrimp has more experience. And Omar God right now has a lot of uh, weight of him on his shoulders. And even though people expect the least from him, or like they don't have a huge expectation for him, because he hasn't played a lot of matches during regular season and the start of the playoff, uh, he might choke on pressure and this happened a lot of time like when you play against like a big stage because this is not a small LCS studio that's what I'm trying to tell you like it's gonna be a big stage it's gonna be more people more people shouting uh, more pressure and it's just gonna depend on how people do pressure some people don't care if there's like one people or like 10,000 people in front of them uh, I tend to be like that like I don't I don't necessarily get pressure from a lot of people in front of me but some players experience a lot of stress when there's a big crowd, so it can happen. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this to Shrimp. 
Next is the mid lane. So Huhi and uh, against Keen. So Keen is Tinitas and Huhi is a CLG. I have to. I don't know. I have to give an equal. I think those are both mid laners that have kind of the same champion pool. We see a lot of it, like Syndra, Ari, Oriana, Talia. Talia. They're playing a lot of Talia lately, so I expect this to be one of the be like one of the most manifested pick during this best of five. Uh, I don't know. I don't think anyone takes the cake here. To be honest, very equal. Like difference in gameplay. I don't know. They really. They're not super aggressive. Uh, they're not super entertaining, I want to say, as mid laners, but they do the job, both farm very well. Maybe we'll see some pocket picks that we don't know, and we'll see how things, how things go. And last, guys, is the bottling matchup, which is Altic or Adrian against Stinksay Aphromoo. And this, I have to give it to Stinksay Aphromoo because I'm a huge fan of their synergy. I think Stinksay, uh, ever since W left, uh, has been doing a great job. He's very good at hyper carries as well. Uh, even though his landing face is not perfect, uh, his team fights are super impressive. Like his position is really nice. And of course, it's helped and pushed by Aphromoo, which is one of the, I want to say, one of the most intelligent player as far as like support role is concerned in this league and I really think they're gonna do well. I'll take an Adrian, really good, really okay synergy, but I think that Afro Mustang say is next level. So now that we know a little bit about the matchup, I'm gonna have to give it to CLG in a best of five that will go um three and one for CLG. I think that CLG is gonna get the first game or like they're gonna get like maybe the first two games and Dignita is gonna get a third game and CLG is just going to close on the fourth game. Uh, it's also CLG has more experience in playoffs. And I don't know. I just feel like I, the bot lane is going to be huge. The top lane is going to do a lot of things. It really also depends on Omar God. Like the jungle meta right now. It's not a jungle meta. But the impact of jungles right now is huge. Uh, as it kind of always is. But I think it's really going to be interesting to see how Omar God uh, like that like deals with all that stuff and how what picks he's going to decide is he going to take risk is he going to be super aggressive what kind of gameplay he chooses to use so really look 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 forward to omar god look forward to his picks his game style and how early he starts to ganks or kind of jungling and all that stuff it should be the i want to say like the center of focus that i think analysts are going to have and it should be very interesting to see how he performs on a big stage like this. So best of luck of both teams. My prediction is 3-1 for CLG here. Don't forget to comment down below what you think, uh, who is going to take the third place. Now guys, let's finally talk about the third place. First place is TSM versus Immortals. So TSM and Immortals has gone 14-4 and during regular season, having really impressive performance. A very sloppy start of the season, I want to say, for uh, Immortals, but they just grinded and grinded and they did super well. I mean, four losses in a regular season, it's super impressive. Um, but we have a lot of things to say. So TSM, I want to say they're, they're plus. They're really like, their plus is the mid lane and the experience. Um, Bjergsen is like... I don't know, I want to say the best AP mid, uh, mid laner in the scene of NLCS. And this is good and also bad because I feel like the team tends to really revolve around him. And when he does good, everything goes well. But when he does bad, they tend to rely on someone like Double Lift. And Double Lift isn't performing really well all the time. Uh, I just feel like Bjergsen is always doing well. Like, always, always doing well. And when he's doing bad, usually. It's very rare when his like when his team is here to push him up and carry him to victory, and that's why we see like uh, Svenskeren spending a lot of time in the mid lane just to put like Bjergsen in this comfortable spot where he can start to like push waves and roam and make a difference elsewhere. This is really the game style of TSM. It's very understandable. It's very easy to counter, but they they manage to do it pretty much all the time and it it just works uh for the immortals i want to say their bot lane and top lane are kind of the strength uh i'm really looking forward to this matchup in the top lane being hunzer against flame flame being a world renowned top laner against hunzer who still needs some experience but is really really talented and has definitely every credit for his spots on the team solomon squad uh I just think that Flame can do a lot of difference with his TP actions and his very unique gameplay or game style. And it should be a very, very interesting matchup. So look forward to that. 
In the jungle, we have Sven Skuren against Xmissy, and this I give it 100% to Sven Skuren. I'm not a fan of Xmissy. I think he's really good when he does very well in early game, but when he doesn't do well in early game, he has really, like, a struggle to get back into the game. Like, the vision control isn't really there yet. Uh, and Sven Skuren is all around super good, super intelligent player uh, when it comes to mechanics, but also game knowledge, and a very wide champion pool. Like, we don't talk about this enough, but Svenskeren, coming from Europe, has one of the most expanded champion pool in the jungle. It's really impressive. Mid laner, Pobelter, and Bjorkstern. I will give it to Bjorkstern because, honestly, um, this guy is so consistent, so good, so talented. Pobelter is really good, though. Do not underestimate Pobelter because he's he is, he can be very surprising and sometimes he just gets in a god mode and he can be very, very dangerous. So what he's going to do, I think, is he's going to try to really shut down Bjergsen early on. I think this is what the strategy is when you play against TSM is that you really want to farm Bjergsen. Like you want to make him go to hell in the game. You want him to tilt. You want him to lose focus and you want him to win like that. Uh, so expect Xmissy and uh, Pobelter to do a lot of things in the mid lane, and we'll see if Pobelter responds like by hitting CCs or whatever he plays. Uh, it should be a very, very interesting like first 15 minutes or first 10 minutes into the game. How they're going to try to shut down Bjergsen so that Pobelter can snowball? Look forward to that. And the bot lane guys, double lift Biofrost and against Kadisum and Ole. So I want to give it like internally like... Like I like TSM, I want to give it to Double Lift Biofrost, but it is just because I don't know a lot about Cuddy Sun and Ole. I saw a little bit of a gameplay before doing this video. I saw a bit of their stats and what they play, but it just seems that I cannot catch what they're really worth and how good they are. Like, they did super well against CLG, and I think it was like really an impressive performance. But I gotta give it to like a middle way. Like I'm just waiting for it to. Uh, Spark because I feel like double if there's a super good and talented ADC, but this Cody Ole can be very surprising and very very out of expectation sometimes. They also have just like Pobelter like this very unexpected god mode like uh, game style sometimes where they're just like really 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 good. I feel like double if and Biofrost has just more experience and TSM has a lot more experience into like the finals and the pressure and all that stuff even though Biofrost is what like two year old into the league Doublelift has like he's been playing forever so that could definitely be a plus for him as uh, as of like walking into a match with like confidence and just like ready to kill everyone so I want to give 3-2 to TSM in this best of five, TSM winning with three match, and Immortals uh, losing by uh, by two. So, okay, three two TSM three Immortals two in the best of five. I think it's going to be a very 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 interesting uh, uh, matchup and a very entertaining best of five. One thing that you have to look at is how Bjergsen is going to deal with his early game. How Svenskeren is going to be super smart by countering what Xmissy wants to do against Bjergsen. Uh, just expect that to happen. It's going to be super, super interesting. And I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for you to see it. And I cannot wait to see your uh, prediction down below. So just to remind you guys, 3-2 for TSM and 3-1 for CLG are my prediction. I want to hear yo yours. Put them down below or tweet at me at Zonobra. You can also vote by using uh, TSM win, uh, EMT win, I think, uh, uh, Team Dignitas, I think it's uh, Deg win. DIG win and CLG win uh, for CLG of course so let me know what you guys think let me know your prediction let me know who you think is going to be super uh, performing and also let me know who's going to be the MVP I I don't I don't know yet I want to say like I want to say Svenskeren is going to be MVP of this playoff because I have such a high expectation for him but we'll see I guess thank you so much for watching this video guys look forward to my EU LCS prediction I'm going to go ahead right now and do some research and record this video right now for you guys. So don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want more of this, let me know. I'll see you for the next episode, guys. Cheers. Without subject, killing everything I'm on. Still get no love yet, no point guard, but I run set. Yeah, time to go. Give them all that feel good. Good times and good vibes, no problem now. Life's good. See the real ones stay, while the fake ones left, and they got my six. Got dreams in my head, put a city on my back when I make that trip. I tell them, yeah, I tell them. 
everything 